All right guys, so our first exercise, you wanna curl up into a bicep curl until the weight reaches your shoulders. Then you wanna flip the weights till your knuckles are facing the ground and then bring the weights back down. Make sure your back is straight and your core is kept tight and engaged. So for the next exercise, we're gonna do some hammer curls. You guys wanna bring the weights all the way up into your shoulder and really use your biceps to carry the weight up. You don't wanna use the momentum of your body. Make sure your back is straight and your core is engaged. exercise you guys want to have your knees and elbows slightly bended your torso is going to be bended at a 45 degree angle with the neutral spine and as you bring the dumbbell up you want to swing the arm as back as possible and contract the muscles in your lats which are your upper shoulder blades So next we're gonna do the exact same thing with two dumbbells at the same time. So it kinda looks like you're flapping your wings. Super important guys to have your spine neutral and as you bring the weights up, you wanna contract your lats and exhale and as you bring the weights back down, you wanna inhale through your nose. So next we have some shoulder press. So you guys wanna make sure that as you bring the weights down, you have your elbows at a 90 degree angle parallel to each other. And as you bring the weights up, you have a slight bend in your elbows. You don't wanna overlock and you wanna exhale. So inhale as you go down, exhale as you come up and make sure you keep your back straight and that core engaged. All right, last exercise before our break, you guys. So you wanna have your feet parallel to your shoulders, knees slightly bended, torso at a 45 degree angle. And as you bring the weights up to your chest, you wanna squeeze in the upper shoulder part of your back where you should feel the muscles contracting and exhale. As you bring the weights down, you wanna make sure you're inhaling through your nose. All 
All right, so we're gonna take a quick little 40 second break to relax your muscles because I'm sure, I am sure that you guys are sore, especially in the shoulder areas if you don't work them out often. After this 40 seconds, we're gonna go back and do the exact same exercises in the same format, in the same sequence. Once again, 40 seconds each. And then at the end, I'm gonna have a little cool down for you guys to make sure to do because it's super important to cool down your muscles after a workout. Just so I could Yeah. 